Today we're going to talk about lighting control systems. You need a lighting control system when you're controlling any of our specialty tape light products such as RGB, RGBW, tunable white. You need to be able to control the color temperature, the brightness, and so on. And while there are many different types of control systems, the architecture is all basically the same. And so let me start with an introduction to the architecture. And so there's four basic components. The first component is the controller. The controller allows human input into the system. The control hooks up to and talks to the decoder, which interprets the signal. Now the decoder needs power, so that's where we'll have a driver come in. In our case, the driver is typically 24 volts, and it wires into the decoder, and the decoder controls the light fixture. So in our case, that's usually a string of tape light. And so these how these that this is how these go together. Now there's two, there are two types of control systems out there. There are wired systems and there are wireless systems. So let's talk about those for a second. One of the most common wired systems is DMX. So in the DMX world, you'll have a wire that will go from the controller to the decoder. So some equipment in this category is like the Nicolati stick controller. That could be a very uh, common one to be used in the DMX world. And then that would wire into one of our DMX decoders. Some of the advantages of a DMX system is it's not susceptible to radio interference like an RF system. And by the way, this DMX wire can be like a thousand feet long, so it can go quite far. So in a commercial setting that might be uh, radio frequency noisy, this would be a very good option. Uh, one of the disadvantages of the system is because it is wired, installation is a little more complex. So you've got to get a wire going from the controller all the way over the decoder. And then if you have multiple runs, you would have multiple decoders and they would daisy chain from one to the next all the way down. So that's the first category of controls, are wired controls, and we talked about DMX. Let's talk about the other category, that would be wireless controls. In a wireless control system, the controller is putting out a signal of some type which is then being received by the decoder, and that's how they are able to talk to each other. So in the wireless control system, we actually have two different types of controls. We have RF systems, which stand for radio frequency. And so some examples of that equipment might be, for example, the M3 controller. It's a, it's a handheld remote single zone. And then we have the corresponding decoder that goes with that. And then another option we have is the multi-zone version of that. That's the T3M. And then the uh, decoder that goes with that as well. Some of the advantages of the RF system is because it's radio frequency, you don't have a wire, so installation is easier. Uh, one of the drawbacks of the RF system is it's more susceptible to radio interference. And so we wouldn't recommend it commercially. We would recommend it more residentially. But that takes us to our next system and that would be our Bluetooth mesh system. And so it is also a wireless system, and it has some distinct advantages. In the Bluetooth mesh category, you get a lot of options for controllers. So for example, you might use an iPhone, or you might use an iPad to be able to talk. And so it's generating a Bluetooth signal, and then the equipment for the decoder uh, would be like a Kasambi uh, module, which is the decoder that receives the signal from Bluetooth. Another controller option could be a wall switch that's Bluetooth enabled, such as the express switch. And that would also talk to the same decoder. So advantages of this system, like the RF system, you don't have any of these wires going on. In fact, you can have multiple runs of tape light with Kasambi decoders all over a building and they're all talking to each other. We'll talk more about Bluetooth mesh in another video. Um, but you don't have to wire any of those together. One of the other advantages over the RF system is Bluetooth mesh is a lot more robust and a lot less susceptible to radio interference. 
So just to review, control systems, four different components. You've got a controller, you have a driver, you have a decoder, and then you have the light fixture. Um, and then you have wired systems like DMX and wireless, wireless systems like RF and Bluetooth mesh. Let me an end with one mention about the dr driver. Um, so when it comes to drivers, you don't want to use a magnetic low voltage driver. You want to use an electronic driver, um, such as our, this is a 60 watt, zero to 10 volt electronic driver. Um, when you're using a driver like this, you just wouldn't hook up the zero to 10 volt because you don't want to dim the fixture from the driver. You want to dim it from the controls. And so any electronic driver, so long as you're not using any dimming function on it, will work in this system. Thanks for watching.